Aerospace and Defense. November 1, 2020. BAE Systems unveils high-definition uncooled thermal core Athena 1920. U.S. Air Force approves two more Boeing KC-46 tankers for Japan. Northrop Grumman to upgrade U.S. radar warning receiver capability. European Coast Guard selects Airbus India for maritime aerial surveillance with Arpias. Thales Friend for identification system for French Navy frigates. BAE offers Archer 155mm mobile howitzers to U.S. Army. First 10H90 delivered to Spanish Air Force for search and rescue missions. Finland, Latvia, and Patrialand developing common armored vehicle. Construction of overseas patrol vessels for New Caledonia begins. Last Eurofighter Typhoon delivered to Italian Air Force. BAE Systems has unveiled its full high-definition thermal camera core Athena 1920 which combines exceptional infrared image clarity with a wide field of view. The compact, light, and low-power thermal camera core delivers superior imagery and uncompromising performance and is ideal for long-range and demanding applications, including security, surveillance, and targeting systems. Thermal core enables a new class of sensing systems for everything from aerial reconnaissance to perimeter security to asset monitoring. The Athena 1920 features a 1920 by 1200 vanadium oxide vox uncooled micro bolometer pixel array that builds on the company's industry leading 12 micron pixel technology. The camera's 60 Hz frame rate delivers exceptional clarity and minimizes motion blur in dynamic scenes, providing unparalleled detail of complex environments. The high-definition sensor offers nearly eight times the field of view of traditional camera cores, and with its small size 51 by 40 by 21 mm and lightweight 70 grams, is suited for high-performance applications where size, weight, power, and cost are important factors. The Athena 1920 camera core is manufactured at the company's state-of-the-art sensor facility in Lexington, Massachusetts, which enables high-quality camera core production at scale. The U.S. Air Force has exercised the option for the Japan Air Self-Defense Force's 3rd and 4th Boeing KC-46 tanker through the foreign military sale process. Japan's new tankers will play an invaluable role in the security alliance between U.S. and Japan. Boeing's KC-46 will be a force multiplier in the U.S.-Japanese defense alliance. It can refuel U.S., allied and coalition military aircraft compatible with international aerial refueling procedures, anytime, on any mission, and can carry passengers, cargo and patients whenever and wherever needed. Japan's first KC-46 is scheduled for delivery in 2021. Boeing was awarded the initial FMS contract for Japan's first KC-46 aircraft and logistics services in December 2017 following the Japan Ministry of Defense's KCX aerial refueling competition. A contract for a second KC-46 was awarded to Boeing in December 2018. Boeing assembles KC-46A aircraft for both the U.S. Air Force and the Jazzed Phonics 767 production line in Everett. Northrop Grumman Corporation has received a $91 million contract for the additional production of an APR-39D2V digital radar warning receivers. Small and lightweight, the system protects rotary and fixed-wing aircraft from modern radio frequency threats such as radar-guided missiles and anti-aircraft artillery. The all-digital, multi-channel APR-39DV2RWR monitors a 360-degree spherical coverage area to detect threats and determine their identity, bearing and lethality. The system can automatically initiate optimal defensive measures and has an immediate growth capability for RF countermeasures. Underlying the system's advanced capabilities is Northrop Grumman's next-generation electronic warfare architecture. Shared across proven electronic warfare systems in production now, it provides exceptional value and agility. Northrop Grumman Electronic Warfare and Radar Warning Receiver Systems are currently protecting thousands of aircraft worldwide. The APR 39 dv 2 is planned for integration on the AH-1Z, AH-64E, ARLE, MV-22, UH-1Y and CH-53EK. 
The European Border and Coast Guard Agency awarded a contract to Airbus Defence and Space Airborne Solutions, a 100% subsidiary of Airbus Defence and Space and the global market leader in remotely piloted aircraft system services, and its long-term partner Israel Aerospace Industries to operate a medium-altitude long-endurance remotely piloted aircraft systems for maritime aerial surveillance services. The service will be delivered in Greece, Italy, Malta within a framework contract. The service include the provision of a remotely piloted aircraft systems platform, payload, communication equipment and capacity, mission storage and all necessary experts managing the system and providing operational support. Under the contract, Airbus and Israel Aerospace Industries will provide the service for pre-planned assignments as well as for ad hoc calls. The Maritime Heron remotely piloted aircraft systems from Israel Aerospace Industries serves a range of customers worldwide and is a part of the well-known Heron family which accumulates over 450,000 flight hours, day and night missions under all weather conditions. The system is capable of flying more than 24 hours in full operational configuration and creates a comprehensive, real-time, naval picture in geographical areas for potential surveillance interests in the context of coordinated European monitoring activities. The remotely piloted aircraft systems will be fitted with versatile dedicated payloads, electro-optical for day and infrared for night purposes, maritime patrol radar made by Israel Aerospace Industries and automatic identification system, relevant communication equipment, and corresponding ground mission control and support. The surveillance platform Heron uses a direct link when flying within line of sight, changing seamlessly to a satellite link when flying beyond line of sight to transmit real-time information or when needed to fly in low altitude over sea. This information is being transmitted to Frontex Command and Control Center as well as to centers of the respective Coast Guards. Numerous trials were successfully held over the past years to confirm and highlight the benefits of unmanned aerial systems in terms of precise and long-endurance surveillance. The Maritime Heron is being used amongst others by the Israeli Navy as its key patrolling tool, successfully performing reconnaissance and security assignments since many years. Naval forces today need to be able to rely on new technology to make the best decisions when it matters most. Thales helps them conduct their missions more safely at every critical moment, building on its air surveillance expertise and in-depth knowledge of operational contexts to develop high-value end-to-end friend foe identification solutions. Thales is unveiling the TSA-6000, the first friend foe identification interrogator to use flat fixed array active antenna technology. This new solution, unique in the world provides 360-degree coverage around the vessel, with no trade-off in range capabilities, and an unprecedented and extremely fast identification capability. Based on a revolutionary all-digital flat fixed array technology, the TSA-6000 Friend Foe Identification Identification System provides a smart 360-degree electronic scanning capability enabling extremely fast identification of new types of threats. The four-panel antenna design allows full 360-degree coverage, overcoming the problem of signal masking caused by a ship's topside infrastructure, especially if it has multiple masts. Smaller and lighter, the TSA-6000 is much easier for systems integrators to position and install on a vessel compared to friend foe identification systems with rotating array antennas or fixed cylindrical arrays. The TSA-6000's panels are independent from the radar system for even greater flexibility of installation and maintenance. Its modular, scalable all-digital architecture also simplifies support operations significantly. Each panel comprises multiple modules for built-in redundancy and to help ensure the system is permanently available. In addition, the system has no mechanical or rotating parts, considerably increasing reliability and reducing time to repair. The TSA-6000 is compliant with Mode 5, the new NATO Secure Identification Standard. With this new product, Thales offers an ultra-high performance identification capability with guaranteed interoperability between NATO and Allied forces for the decades ahead. 
The TSA-6000 will equip the French Navy's future FDI-class frigates from 2021 alongside the Sea Fire radar from Thales, which also has a flat panel A. The radar and Frenfo identification combination will offer an near instantaneous detection and identification capability against high-velocity threats. BAE Systems is offering Archer for participation in the U.S. Army's plans to conduct a shoot-off evaluation early next year at the Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona. U.S. Army is looking to evaluate mobile howitzers in support of future Army requirements. Archer is a mature, proven system that can quickly get into the fight and strike enemy targets at long ranges, with a high rate of fire and very fast displacement times, and is made for combat against large power adversaries with a fully automated system. Soldiers can execute their mission with minimal physical exertion and time, while remaining undercover in the armored cabin. The cab protection, fast shoot and scoot times and its extended range all enhance survivability and sustain fire support in harsh combat conditions. Archer can fire within 30 seconds of receiving an order. It can then depart its firing position within 30 seconds, minimizing the enemy's ability to effectively return fire. Its magazine carries 21 rounds and can unload all of them in less than 3 minutes. Archer can fire the bonus anti-armor munition up to 35 km, conventional munitions up to 40 km, and currently fielded precision-guided munitions like Excalibur in excess of 50 km. Bonus and Excalibur are currently in the U.S. Army's inventory. Archer brings a single, fielded package of capabilities that would provide U.S. soldiers with responsiveness and flexibility that far exceed current capabilities. Archer is typically operated by a crew of three to four soldiers but can be operated by only one. Archer is manufactured by BAE Systems Bofors, which is based in Karlskoga in Sweden. Archer is already in service with the Swedish Army with the highest technical and manufacturing readiness levels. NH Industries and its partner companies Airbus Helicopters, Leonardo and Fokker have delivered the first NH-90 to the Spanish Air Force that will boost their search and rescue and combat search and rescue mission capabilities. The Spanish Air Force will receive 12 NH-90s intended to replace its aging fleet of AS-332 Super Pumas and will be based in Cuatro Vientos, near Madrid. Spain has ordered a total of 45 NH-90s in the tactical transport version, to be operated by the three armed forces. Thirteen helicopters have already been delivered to the Spanish Army Air Mobile Force FAMIT for the Maneuver 3 Battalion in Agoncillo. For the Spanish Air Force, the NH-90 provides an essential asset capable of performing a wide range of missions, including tactical transport of troops and logistics support in peacekeeping or reconstruction missions and, of course, the main search and rescue missions in hostile conditions which is one of the most demanding and complex missions for helicopter units. The NH-90 will provide all three of the Spanish Armed Forces with a versatile and modern transport system helicopter that offers unrivaled military capabilities. The Spanish variant of the NH-90 features next-generation General Electric CT-78F5 engines, a personalized communications system and a sophisticated electronic warfare system developed by Indra and will be supported by training devices including full-flight simulators, automatic maintenance equipment same and automatic mission planning system developed as well by Indra. Airbus Helicopters in Spain is involved in the manufacturing of the fuselage and the avionics software development and integration. Patria's 6x6 armored vehicle, designed to provide the best protected mobility with the simplest technologies, will serve as the basis for the new armored vehicle to be jointly developed by Finland and Latvia. Finland. Latvia and Patria Land Oi have signed a product development agreement on a common armored vehicle system. The agreement is related to the letter of intent signed by the countries last spring. The purpose of the product development agreement is to develop, in line with the common requirements of the countries, the prototype Patria 6x6 vehicle manufactured by Patria Land Oi to a common armored vehicle platform, with an armored personnel carrier and a command and control vehicle. The agreement makes it possible to build a comprehensive approach to develop common maintenance, 
logistics, training solutions or product development packages. A joint product development organization guides and supervises the work, with Finland acting as the lead country. The product development phase will last until the end of 2021 and, after concluding the product development agreement, Finland and Latvia will be able to start negotiations on possible serial procurements. The first deliveries could take place in 2021. A completely different agreement will be negotiated on possible serial procurements. The total value of the product development agreement is approximately 7.3 million euros including VAT, and it comprises the common platform and the product development of an armored personnel carrier and a command and control vehicle. Costs shall be shared equally between Finland and Latvia. Patri launched a 6x6 vehicle at Eurosatory in 2018. The Patria 6x6 vehicle combines all the proven features of Patria SAW and AMV vehicles. It is simplified, reliable and designed to meet the highest requirements of customers. Its state-of-the-art terrain mobility is guaranteed by an efficient power unit and the independent suspension familiar from the Patria's AMV vehicle. Due to the spacious cabin and well-defined functions, the vehicle is easy to operate and to train. Reliability and low life cycle costs are underlined by the multitude of commercial components used in the vehicle. France has ordered six Patrua route Rema patrol vessels for its overseas territories from the consortium formed by Soccer Enem and CNNMCO responsible respectively for manufacturing and maintenance of the vessels during the first six years of their operational service. All six are due for delivery by 2025. Led by the Directorate General of Armament, the Overseas Patrol Vessel POM program will significantly strengthen the resources of the Navy to monitor the maritime areas of New Caledonia, French Polynesia, and La Réunion. French Minister of the Armed Forces Florence Parly on October 8 launched the construction phase of the first of the six overseas patrol boats, during a ceremony marking the first metal cut for the ship at the saint Malo shipyard. In particular, POMs will have significantly improved capacities to carry twice as much freight and nine more passengers than P-400 patrol boats. With a greater range, they can also operate a drone. The POM program will complete the renewal of the French Navy patrol vessels stationed overseas. The six POMs will be based in Noumea for New Caledonia, Port de Galais for Reunion Island and Papieti for French Polynesia, with two units per home port. They will completely replace the older generation of P-400 patrol boats. The POM is the first small vessel to operate a drone system. Its stability performance has been adapted to the navigation conditions which can be extremely difficult in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It also features an innovative hybrid propulsion architecture and hydrographic capability. It will be able to carry out missions of up to 30 days without refueling, with a crew of 30 sailors and carry up to 23 passengers. Taking off from Leonardo's plant in Casal in Turin, the final and most advanced Eurofighter Typhoon of the Italian Air Force was handed over, becoming one of the defense aircraft assigned daily to the protection of the Italian skies. It was destined to the Italian Air Force's 51st Wing Estrada Air Base. It completes the Eurofighter fleet which is the main asset of a complex and diversified national and NATO air defense system. The aircraft has proven to be a reliable, flexible, and versatile asset, and is ready to face new technological challenges to continue to guarantee the highest level of safety across the Italian skies and protection of national interest. This is due to a wide range of operational capabilities which complement air defense duties such as intelligence surveillance reconnaissance and attacks wing role. T. The Eurofighter was designed as an open architecture, with a well-defined program of technological updating and improvement that guarantees its competitiveness throughout its life cycle. Constantly evolving technologies, both on board the aircraft and in the context of logistical support, increase its operational effectiveness, survivability, and efficient management. The Eurofighter program is a cornerstone in the development of European aerospace and defense technologies and provides the industries involved with technological leadership that will guarantee competitiveness for many next-generation programs. Leonardo represents with its activities about 36% of the value of the entire program, with its key role in the aeronautical components and in the onboard electronics, which sees the company responsible for two primary sensors radar and IRST as well as other fundamental avionic technologies. 
Leonardo also plays a key role in the evolution of the Eurofighter thanks to the new active electronically scanned array radar, which increases the aircraft's performance and competitiveness, which, in turn, will enhance the targeting of a significant proportion of the international market over the next decade. The Eurofighter program is managed by the Eurofighter GmbH consortium, a company based in Munich in Germany owned by Leonardo, BAE Systems and Airbus Defense and Space for Germany and Spain. On the government side, it is managed by the NATO Eurofighter and Tornado Management Agency, set up to meet the procurement needs of the air forces of the four participating countries, Italy, United Kingdom, Germany, and Spain. In addition to the four partner countries, which have already ordered 472 Typhoons, international customers now include, Saudi Arabia 72 aircraft, Austria 15, Oman 12, Kuwait 28 and Qatar 24, a total of 623 ordered planes. Thank you.